So what we have here is the soon to be released kid mode for Android tablets. Um, and so we're going to do a little bit of a sneak peek. We haven't released this yet, so there may be a couple glitches here and there, but overall it's coming together. Uh, and what kid mode is, is an app that um, uh, puts your device into a mode that kids can play fun educational games and activities that are age appropriate for them uh, and also keep uh, keep them confined in the space so that they're not going to cause any havoc on the device. So for example, we lock these buttons so when you tap these buttons the kids can't get out of the app. We provide kids hundreds of games and activities to play. These are flash games uh, and that's why it works really great on Android. So a child could tap on a game and you know, here's an example of a game teaching about the letter D which is great for my, uh, my three-year-old daughter Sam. Uh, and so Sam can just go off and play any of these games, and when she's done playing games, she might want to draw something. So you can imagine her you know, doing a three-year-old smiley face, drawing, maybe wanting to draw something new, uh, you know, we're at CES, you get the idea. Um, maybe my personal favorite uh, experience is the experience of uh, enabling my mother, my, my daughter's grandmother, to read books to my kids. So my mom lives in Ohio, only gets to see my kids who live in California about two times a year. So this is my mom who recorded herself on her computer reading Jack and the Beanstalk. And uh, we're going to load here. So the uh, wireless network's a little bit slow here at CS, so we'll just give it a second. It's pulling it off of our servers. And uh, my mom's going to pop in and she'll start reading this book to both Samantha, my one daughter, and Abby, my other daughter. So we'll just give it a second here. Uh, CES bandwidth is fantastic. There we go. Hi, Sam and Abby. Do you have your milk and cookies ready? Because I'm ready to read Jack and the Beanstalk. So, you can imagine kids, not only kids loving this, but relatives loving it, right? Because they get to connect with the kids that they really miss. Uh, another way that we enable families to really connect and communicate with each other is through video mail. So, uh, we think we're actually one of the, we think we're the first ever video mail service for kids. Uh, and, you know, adults love to communicate, send emails, text. Kids can't do those things, they can't read or type, but they can say things. So, uh, for example, uh, my daughter, whose birthday it was a little while ago, got a message from her aunt and her cousin uh, when she woke up on her birthday and was so excited that she got a video mail message. She uh, ran over to the computer, because you can see this on her computer, we didn't have it ready on the tablets yet, and this is, uh, this is what she saw. We'll see it here load again in a second. And I'll turn the volume up. Uh, here we go. Come on, bandwidth. There we go. So that's my sister and my nephew singing happy birthday to Samantha. And, uh, you know, one of the cool things is, is if Samantha wanted to reply and, and say something back, she can just tap the reply button. And then what we're going to do here is, that's us. Hi. So now we're actually recording. And, uh, you know, we record for up to 30 seconds so in case the kid walks away from the oh, device. Okay. It doesn't, like, just record their entire life. It'll stop after 30 seconds automatically. You hit the stop button or it'll stop on its own. You just tap send the message and it gets sent to that real person. We won't send that to Aunt Christy. She'd be a little confused. Um, but that's kid mode for tablets. And uh, we're hoping to launch it in the coming weeks. We're really excited about it. Uh, and another really cool thing about this experience is it ties back to the computer experience really well. So this is the uh, Zoodle's parent dashboard where I as a parent can come in and see everything that my kids have been doing uh, in Zoodles. Uh, so for example, I sent my kids a, uh, a video message the other night because I was here at CES. Uh, you guys remember that smiley face we just drew a couple minutes ago? Oh, right on the on. Right there already, right? Awesome. So just saves that up. And the other thing that's cool is you can adjust the kind of focus for kids in terms of the educational focus. So you can see that Sam plays a lot of math games and reading games and not a lot of other stuff. So we may want to adjust that. I can click on the promote subjects. And we can see why she's playing so many reading games because we've jacked up reading. So we can adjust these sliders. And if you move these sliders, it adjusts what games are actually in the experience. So uh, uh, there we go. So I can just move the sliders uh, in different directions and then it'll change the games that are actually there. And so the app itself is free, but you the parental controls are what you charge for? That's exactly right. So the uh, the tablet app that you just saw, completely free. Everything that you guys saw, free. Uh, this area of parental controls around controlling uh, the subjects or maybe controlling what characters your kids interact with, that's what we charge a monthly fee for, and right now that's $5.95 a month. Perfect.
Awesome. I can't wait to have it on my on my tablet. Thank you.